My name is Misty Hurst. I'm 31 years old and I'm from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Hearst is off to Italy this September after landing a dream come true sponsorship deal to do some club racing for Honda Italy. Europe is the cream of the crop for road racing. Um, it's where everyone wants to be. So it's a big step up from what I'm used to. I'm used to, you know, local club racing here in Vancouver where we get like 60 people in the stands and apparently club racing over there you're going to have like 40,000 people in the stands. So it's going to be it's going to be a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm a professional motorcycle racer, a coach for a motorcycle school, and also a freelance writer. I race at all sorts of different racetracks. Sponsored by Kawasaki USA right now. It's a pretty cool feeling to be the only female in a, in a sea of male competitors. And then uh, it's an even cooler feeling to beat some of them. Are there a lot of uh, lady riders in Canada? Uh, there's becoming more and more female riders as we speak, yes. Right. And why is that? Uh, it seems to be the fastest growing segment of the market these days, and I think uh, more and more women are seeing more women out there riding and doing it well and becoming inspired. I grew up in Lions Bay, which is a little village just outside of Vancouver. Um, there I was a, a bit of a, a tomboy as a kid. I did all sorts of sports. I was on the volleyball team, cross country, swimming, running, jumping, anything. Anything and driving my parents crazy. And uh, from there I went to Victoria, British Columbia where I took um, four years of university taking child and youth care. <laughs> down on the bar, okay, instead of, if you bent this arm and push forward, so almost like you're palming it's the bar. easier. Yeah, feel the difference? Yeah. Cool. Probably the hardest thing that I ever have to deal with when coaching um, people is, you know, when I get the, the arrogant racer guy uh, who comes and you can see it in his face right when I go and introduce myself, hey, I'm Misty, I'm going to be your coach for the day, and you can see him kind of going, oh, great, I got the girl coach, she's not going to be able to keep up with me. Um, and then basically what you have to do there is you have to go out and uh, smoke them. You get a lot of respect after that. So I go out, I go as fast as I can, make it look super easy, like, hey dude, what's taking you so long kind of thing. And then uh, their attitude usually changed. Basically my interests revolve around anything on two wheels. So totally love mountain biking, motorcycle racing, dirt biking, I want to get into motocross racing, anything sporty, I love, um, what else, bungee jumping, can do jumps, flips, I've done some gymnastics, uh, I've got a uh, black belt, so watch out, skydiving, a boxing match, a real fight, but I also love anything crazy, crazier the better, bring it on. I don't know that there's too much out there that I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't love to try. I've always done sort of extreme sports so picking something that is the craziest is, is difficult. But if I did have to pick one of the craziest things would have to be my first AMA race ever and that happened this year. AMA is humongous. It's the top racing series in all of the United States ready waiting for the start with 43 other guys famous racers in a in a track that's got like 60,000 people watching and being the only woman there, that was pretty crazy. Other wacky things, I was in um, Guyana, South America and I found myself shooting, shooting guns with the locals. No, I didn't kill anybody. <laughs> oh, okay, I know what's wacky. In grade 11, we did a car rally and it had all these crazy things that you had to do and of course out of all my friends I was the one that did most of them thank you guys so I ran across an overpass like over the freeway 
uh, almost naked, <laughs> and um, I jumped into I jumped into a duck pond and had to swim across this gross, disgusting duck pond. And what else? I jumped off a pier and had to swim to shore, and and I got a hickey from a stranger. <laughs> If I was going to host a show on the Discovery Channel, I think what I'd like to do is something kind of along the lines of what Mike Rowe does with his dirty jobs and have it be like craziest jobs or wackiest jobs or most adventurous jobs or something. Go along with it with an Air Force pilot clean windows on one of the skyscrapers in New York or something and be a stunt coordinator or anything crazy or high or scary or fast that that I could do, I will do it. Except maybe eat bugs, because I don't like eating bugs. Yeah, I think I got a lot of, of skills. I, you know, I teach, I'm a coach, so that kind of, I, I know how to interact with people. Done some writing, and been on camera <laughs> a few times for interviews. Um, also, I think I've just been out and about. The Canadian out and about right there. Uh, you know, done a lot of traveling, been a bunch of places and just not really afraid to, to try anything. So I think that would be a perfect thing for a show like this. I think I'd be good.